。红酒世界直播间的观众朋友们，大家下午好，我是红酒世界高级编辑 Luisa。本月初呢，我们在呃红酒世。借香港分公司呢，给大家连续奉上了十场名庄直播，相信大家在那三天呢，对那十二个波尔多名庄呢，都有了比较深刻的了解。全球名庄众多，红酒世界从未停止探索的步伐。今天我们又请来了一个波尔多名庄庄主，那就是波尔多二级庄布朗康田酒庄庄主，呃，亨利·路同先生做客我们红酒世界直播间。如果大家对呃布朗康田有什么想呃提问的，都可以在留言区留言。我们在直播的最后呢，会让陆同先生呃亲自为大家解答。Mr. Luton, uh, welcome to Y World. It's our pleasure to have you here to be to with us. Uh, could you please greet to our audience and introduce yourself briefly? Thank you, Lisa. Um, I say hello to everyone. Uh, of Wine World, I'm very happy uh, to answer your question today. Uh, so I'm Henri Lurton, I'm the owner of the Chateau Brand Cantenac, uh, second growth in Margaux, in the Margaux Appellation in Bordeaux. Uh, it's a place that is in my family since four generations, and I run it since 1992. Mr. Luton, I have heard that you have worked in several uh, New World wine countries, now uh, South Africa, Australia, and Chile. Um, why did you choose to work in those countries? Because we know uh, many European countries have longer history in winemaking. Yes, so I did my study in uh, Bordeaux. Um, I think it's the best place uh, to have the knowledge, the technical knowledge. Um, but after, I really wanted to travel, uh, to see uh, different countries, different continents, um, different way of living, of working. Uh, that's why I traveled quite far and I went to South Africa, Australia and Chile. So, uh, how do you value this overseas experience? I think it was very important for me because after having uh, one knowledge, uh, inter very interesting knowledge at the University of Bordeaux. It was a way for me to uh, adapt myself to different climate, to, to a different way of working. Um, and adaptation is very important in, uh, in our work of uh, viticulture. We have to adapt to the climate, to the nature. Um, and uh, also, uh, for me, traveling w was also a moment uh, important in my life. Mr. Luton, um, we know that Chateau Bohan continent dates back to 19, 18th centuries. And uh, could you briefly introduce uh, its history to us? Yes. So, in the, the 18th century, uh, the place was very well known. The name was Gors. It was considered as the, the top, uh, one of the top chateaux, just uh, uh, considered just after Chateau Latour. So it's uh, close to the top chateau uh, um, in uh, in Bordeaux. Uh, in uh, the eight, 19th century, it has been bought by the Baron Brand. It was a very famous viticulturist. Its nickname was the Napoleon of the vineyard. And uh, in, um, he bought in 1830, and some years after, he, uh, he changed the name of the chateau uh, to name it uh, Brand Cantonac. And uh, after him, it also has been very, very famous. Hmm. Mr. Luton, you have worked in uh, many New World uh, white countries, so uh, you can learn about some innovative techniques and uh, winemaking philosophy from like, those countries. So after you took over Chateau Bohan Cantonac, have you bring in uh, any innovations to the Chateau? Yes, I think uh, Bordeaux is very important for innovation, so I, maybe I didn't bring back from outside, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, but I did some innovation, like uh, I did uh, the malolactic fermentation in Baal, I, I did uh, a new cellar that was um, uh, ecological without air conditioning, so um, it was very new uh, uh, to do this type of, um, of buildings, eco-friendly bu building, um, and after also I put new wooden uh, tanks and I put a lot of different ones 
to, uh, to be able to separate all the different places uh, of uh, the vineyard because I did a big map of the subsoil, a very big work of, uh, of the soil of Grand Pontenac and uh, it's a way to be able to separate uh, during harvest all the different qualities. Mr. Luton, what wine making philosophy does uh, Chateau Bohan Condemnac possess? I think we want to, uh, it's the terroir that signs the wine, so it's, uh, we, we want to make the best wine from the place. Um, it's the place that is the most important, the soil, what we call the terroir. Um, so, and we know uh, that this soil can, can make a special wine uh, because of its, its qualities, um, mainly um, it's, uh, what is important is aromatic qualities, uh, its balance, um, it's a wine with big structure but always very elegant and with a very good quality of tannins and made also for aging long. Okay. Good wines come from good terrace and Chateau for Hong Kong that can produce uh, great wines as we all know. So I think its vineyard must possess great terroir. Could you introduce it to us? Yes, uh, the, the vineyard of, um, in Medoc in Margot um, come uh, in the quaternary from, uh, there is six different terraces and in Brandpontnac we are in three different terraces and the best part is, is from the best uh, geological terrace uh, of Margot um, and the first one in Brandpontnac uh, come from this terrace, the hill in front of the chateau uh, and it's a gravelly soil but uh, the quality um, is perfect because we have a very good drainage so it helps when it's very humid, when it's rainy and there is enough clay in the subsoil to, to uh, keep humidity when it's very dry so that's make it uh, mostly in your more difficult uh, one of the top uh, terroir in, in Medoc. 可能光讲大家感受并不是十分的深刻那么我们庄主呢就带来了一个视频让大家深刻的了解一下布朗康田酒庄的葡萄园及其独特的风土那么我们现在先来观看视频吧 okay. okay.
Mr. Luton, uh, I know that you uh, decided to move the Delta with the optical sourcing system to the Shadu. Uh, could you introduce it to us and how is its uh, efficiency? It's, um, it's a new system that is a um, sort for me of a revolution for sorting. Uh, because, um, in fact, uh, we do uh, picking by hand, uh, we do sorting uh, after on the table by hand, and after this demo, every grape go onto this machine, and every grape is checked mm. depending on its, its size, its color, and its shape. And twice a day we have to, to, um, uh, to show the machine what to keep, and it's very, very fast. It's a, it's a camera that checks uh, all the grapes and uh, it can uh, check seven tons of grapes per hour. So it's very quick and it's uh, a way for us to sort perfectly and also to be able to pick very quickly if we need because this machine is also very quick. So, Mr. Luton, in 2012, an integrity uh, environmental management system was brought to the Shadu Pohan Connect. So, uh, could you tell us what specific actions uh, the Shadu takes to meet this system? Yes, we, we use a lot of um, uh, techniques uh, close uh, to uh, this environmental uh, system mm -hmm. uh, before and uh, more and more uh, less spraying, more uh, organic, um, close to organic, and uh, also this the new building. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, we we put uh, one thing specifically: it's um, it's ages. We planted ages all around the vineyard to uh, to protect um, some insects and uh, to have. Um, um, to have a very good um, uh, environment and um, uh, yes, all, all the best to keep all the best species uh, around. 酒庄主呢，专门从法国给我们带来了几款好酒，分别有呃布朗康田酒庄的一九九五年份。二零零八年份、二零一零年份的正牌葡萄酒，还有二零一零年份的副牌酒。今天呢，我们在直播中就开了一瓶二零一零年份的葡萄酒，这个是一个极好的年份。It's a wonderful wine, and thank you very much for bringing them to a uh, wine world. So it's a pleasure. It's my pleasure. <laughs> and um. Before drinking it, I want to uh, ask, um, what's the characteristic of the uh, wines in Magol than in other uh, appellations? Um, we usually say, um, usually, uh, that it's uh, yes, it's aromatic wine with power and structure, but always elegant. Um, and and with uh, also tannins that are softer. That if you go north in the Medoc, um, it's a, it's a very balanced wine. Mm. Mr. Luton, I have checked the grape variety that you used to measure to Bohang Connect among the last uh, ten years, and I found that Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cabernet. Fonds are uh, mostly used, but for vintage 2011, 15, and 16, you also add some uh, a little bit uh, Cabernet in the wines. So, uh, why do you do this? Uh, in fact, um, yes, the best variety uh, we have more Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc, but Cabernet is a variety that uh, was used in the past lot in the 19th century and um, but it's uh, it's a variety that need to um, uh, a very good uh, after season to, to be mature um, and uh, so I replanted because I thought that because we have uh, 
a change of the climate, it's warmer, uh, we'll have more and more of this, um, what we call, um, uh, we call Indian summer, very, very good weather in October. And, um, and so that's why I replanted Carmenar. Uh, so uh, how, how many Carmenars did you plant? Uh, it's not a lot. It's uh, it's uh, less th th than one hectare. It's very oh, new. Less than one hectare. Yes. Okay. Mm. So, Mr. Luton, what's the difference on palate when the Shadu uh, Bahang continent with the Kamenea and without the Kamenea? I think it's um, there is a small amount, so it doesn't make a very big difference. Mm. But uh, Bahang Kantak is a wine with a great complexity. Uh, so it gives some more complexity uh, and um, mostly with the spicy um, uh, aromas of, of the Carmona. Mm. Mr. Milton, I also found that uh, vintage 2012 is also very unique because uh, it is made only by Cabernet Sauvignon and Maloc without the Cabernet France. So what made such a special vintage? Uh, in 2012, um, we had a very good quality of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, uh, and the Cabernet Franc was a little later. Sometimes it happens that it's later than Cabernet Sauvignon, usually it's in between. Um, and uh, for me, it was not as good as the other uh, varieties. That's why, in fact, Cabernet Franc, even if it's great places, uh, in the terroir, it, it, it went into the second wine in 2012. Okay. Mm. Let's cheers. Let's, Let's cheers. taste this <laughs> wonderful 2010 vintage. Mm. Great. We all know this vintage is an exceptional vintage. Yes. So what do you yes. think of this wine? Um, this wine is still, still young, even after seven years. Still young now? Yes, yes. It's very, um, um, there is still a lot of use in, in, in this wine, but it's very, we have, it's a vintage with a very big structure, power and mostly aromatically in the mouth. It's very, very long. And uh, also with very good quality of tannins. It's tannins that will help for uh, aging a very long time. So st still, still for me young to, uh, to drink, but we decanted uh, two hours before. So the wine is more open, so the tannins are softer. Uh, so if, um, uh, when you open a 2010 now, it's, uh, it's important to decant it two hours before, and with it we have all the quality of tannins of the wine. Okay, so uh, do you think it's, uh, this wine is at its peak? No, I think it's, um, uh, it will be uh, this type of vintage, maybe uh, the peak is after uh, about 15 years, but uh, but it's not really the peak because the peak is very, it's in fact, it's, uh, uh, it, it, it's good during a long, long time. Um, but it will go up and up um, uh, since it, it will be uh, uh, 2025 and after it will change, uh, but it will stay at very high level during maybe 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ms. Luton, uh, we know that you took over the Chateau Bahang Contact uh, in 1992. So the vintage 1995 must be, uh, is your first early production. So what do you think of this vintage? I think um, it's uh, my first great vintage because when I began in 92, we had more difficult vintage. So. Uh, uh, for me, it's, very, it's a very important vintage because it's my first uh, great vintage. And uh, even if we improve every year in terms of quality, in terms of uh, 
uh, everyone in Bordeaux in terms of viticulture and techniques. Um, at the end, it's uh, the signature of the place and the vintage, and it's really Brancantenac in a great vintage, so it's a great wine, and I'm very uh, fond of it. <laughs> Uh, we just mentioned that uh, Bordeaux wines uh, bear great uh, aging potential. So, could you recommend some uh, Chateau Bohan Condonac for us that is sh uh, suitable to drink now? Yes, uh, there is a lot of vintages because after you can keep very long. But I can say that um, the, the youngest maybe are uh, 2006, 2007, 2008. Um, and uh, and all the vintages before are very good to drink. And Mr. Luton, can you tell us which is your favorite vintage now? Uh, during a long time, <laughs> for <laughs> me it was, yes, I prefer 61 because it's my best year and it, oh. it's an exceptional vintage. But I like a lot of wine I, uh, uh, I did, so but it's difficult to, to choose. <laughs> So, Mr. Luton, how many countries uh, Sri Dupo Hong Kong lakes are sold to now, and which is the largest market? We have uh, we sell in a lot of countries. In uh, it, um, it's very very it's spread all around the world. Um, but I think uh, it's very good in France. We have thirty percent. Europe uh, makes sixty percent. After the main market is the U.S. And um, it's about equal 15% US and, uh, and the Asian market. Mm -hmm. And after there is five, uh, some percent in, uh, in, in some, um, also some smaller uh, Asian market or also South America. Hmm. Oh. And Mr. Luton, how do you value the uh, wine market of China? I think it's a very important uh, wine market. Uh, it's a market with more and more lo knowledge um, and uh, with uh, um, more and more offer by, by the wine merchant. So uh, for me, it's a very important market. Um, so I think it will be one of the top in the future for our uh, top chateau. Um, and also for myself, I think I make this style of wine is really uh, loved by uh, because of its complexity and uh, uh, by uh, by Chinese people. So it's very important for me. Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Luton, in 2018, uh, will there be any uh, promotion plans in uh, China? Um, I think I, I will go back, I will do tasting like I do every year. Uh, it's very important to, uh, to show the quality of the wine of Brancantenac. Um, but I don't think I will do some uh, big advertising po uh, and promotion. Uh, uh, I have not a, a very big plan of ad advertising, but mostly it will be uh, tastings. Okay. Uh, Mr. Luton, uh, uh, an audience asks, uh, Luton family is a famous wine family in Bordeaux, uh, and uh, except Chateau for Hong Kong, like, how many Chateau that are owned by the Luton family? I think in Bordeaux we have uh, about 30 chateaux, uh, more than 1,300 hectares, so it's very, I cannot say uh, all of them. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mr. Luton, um, Neil Martin thinks highly of 2016 uh, Chateau Pohan Connect, and uh, he also wrote that uh, the palate of 2016 is the best among what he has drank. So, uh, do you think 2016 vintage is also the best vintage among the last 10 years? I think it's. Uh, it's uh, it's difficult to say because it's a really uh, a very young vintage, but it's part of the top vintages of Brancantenac, and uh, of course, and um, and maybe maybe it's the top, the top one, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Luton, do you know uh, Chateau Condé Lake Brown? Mm -hmm. 
and uh, an audience asks uh, the name between uh, Shadu Bahan Continent and Shadu Continent Brown are so similar. So, ha there are there any relationship between these two Shadu? No, no, no. Um, Cantonac Brown and Boyd Cantonac, there is three Cantonac and oh, okay. classified rules. Mm -hmm. uh, Cantonac Brown and Boyd Cantonac were the same in, in, uh, in the 19th century and divide, and it's a, it was a third growth. We are neighbors, but oh, neighbor. we have, there is no link between the chateau. We oh. are second growth, and uh, the names are very close because and the owner was a French uh, baron, aristocratic. Uh, man, um, Bran, and uh, he had the name of the village uh, because he was first owner of Mouton, and he, he, the name was Bran Mouton. So to change, he put the name of Cantnac, and um, Mr. Brown in, uh, was an Irish man. He, he bought the place uh, nearby, and uh, Brown and Bran are very close. Um, uh, Okay. One is English, one is uh, Irish, one is French, and the name Cantnac is a village, so that's why it's the same name. Okay, okay. Uh, Mr. Luton, an audience asks um, the grain harvest of the Chateau Bohan Condelec is almost finished, and uh, could you predict the performance of the 2017 vintage? Yes, because we have finished fermentation, so we, mm -hmm. now we, are, uh, we can predict the quality, mm -hmm. even if the Second fermentation, malolactic fermentation is not finished, but we predict to have a, a very high, we have a very high potential. So um, we'll have a, a very good vintage in 2017. Okay. Yes. How? Uh, today 给大家介绍了很多有关于波尔多二级庄布朗康田酒庄的一个具体情况然后呢庄主呢也回答了部分观众的问题那么呢可惜我们那个红酒世界暂时没有销售庄主带过来的这几个年份不过呢二零一二年